is here already. Hello? Is that Excellent. Santiago? Hello? Hey, yeah, how you doing, buddy? Santiago Pacino from uh, Florida International. He's on the call with us, I believe. Is that you, Santiago? Yes, sir. That's me. All right. Hey, Santiago, how you doing, buddy? Everything good, man. Uh, how you doing? Everything good. Excellent, excellent. You, 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 you excited about getting into the uh, getting into play for the MLS? Yes, yes, sir, man. This is a exciting time. Uh, this comment so far has been great. It's really nice, really nice hotel. Uh, they're taking care of us, and I'm excited to be here. And I can't wait for what's coming. Excellent, excellent. Um, what led you? led you to getting recruited in, in Florida International and, and how, what involved in that process and, you know, how did, how did they find you? Yeah, so a little bit about, about me. Um, I came to this country when I was 11 years old. I'm from Colombia. I was born in Colombia and I moved to Orlando with my mom. And being here, I didn't know a lot about how soccer worked here. And I started playing a club here in in Orlando. So the name was Orlando Stars. And little by little, I was doing well. And my friend, who played in a really good club team in Tampa, the name was West Florida Flames. He told me, oh, come here, come play with us. And I was there. And that's where FIU saw me. At that time, the assistant coach was Kevin Island. Now he's the head coach of FIU. And that's where he saw me playing. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, I committed really early to the school, my sophomore year, and my sophomore year of high school, and I've been in the FIU since then. Excellent. Um, describe your roles, such as different areas you have lined up at, like the roles on the field, I should say. Like forward like or striker or wing, different okay. positions. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, so always, uh, always a striker. Uh, since I've been in FIU, I always play as a nine. Sometimes they will play a four-four-two, so just I'll be the other striker. Um, I play at the as a winger a couple times on the right, and uh, I play a PDL season with Sima Aguilas two years ago, two summers ago, and mm -hmm. there I was playing as as a left winger. But uh, personally. Uh, I believe I'm more dangerous as a as a nine or as a forward, just because I can score goals, and that's what I can do. Hey, that's the objective of the game to score as many goals as possible, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. The what main you... striker, very strikers, and the results speak for itself. So you've done well in that role. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. I mean, I, I think uh, when not everyone can score goals, you know. Uh, there's, there's players who have been scoring goals, you know, like myself. Since I've been little, every team I, I was, I was always a forward. And always I have that that talent of scoring goals, you know. Some some people can, can be really good defensively or in the middle. But just God gave me that, and that's what I can do, and that's what I use. What, what's your right. most mem memorable? What is your most memorable um, time playing at for Florida International? Do you have like a um, memorable time? It could even be a practice, or it could be it, within a game. Yeah, so I can't remember. Uh, so the best, our, my best year was junior year as a group and uh, individually wise, and. I think the best memorable moment I it was when we played Florida Golf Coast and we won with one second left in overtime. Uh it just showed how much the team was how strong was that team that year. And uh we were down three one and during fifteen minutes we, we tied the game and in overtime we scored in the last minute. So that was just an incredible experience. Um, Chris, did you want to ask a question? Yeah, sure. What were there any other schools that offered you scholarships besides Florida International? 
leading on to your commitment as a sophomore. I mean, you've done an awesome job honoring your commitment to Florida International. I got to give you credit for that. Yes, sir. So, I mean, like I said, uh, when I came here, uh, I didn't know how college worked. I didn't know how everything worked, you know. And uh, I didn't know you could take some visits and see schools. I didn't know none of that. So once I started speaking, speaking to FIU, and they told me, you want to commit? I said, yeah, I'll commit. And then I committed, and I was in FIU. Uh, when, when my coach, when the head coach left, uh, a lot of different, you know, I was hearing from a lot of people, like, they want me in different teams, like, they want me to transfer. But then Kevin Nyland, he took the job, and then I, I decided to stay. I didn't transfer. That's All right. Really yeah. I think we have a, another uh, question. Um, do you have a favorite stadium do you see yourself playing in when you get to the MLS? Yeah, uh, Orlando City Stadium. And would you they like renovated to play that for... recently. Isn't it the brand new stadium that they just renovated a few years ago and the combine was there last year? Yes, sir, that one. I think you're playing um, there tomorrow, too. Yeah, that's where we're playing tomorrow. That's awesome. You get to play in your favorite stadium tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, so because uh, since I'm from here, from Orlando, uh, since the team opened up, I've been watching the games and been going to the games. So, you know, you always be playing in those fields. Yeah, so <laughs> the other stadium uh, I would love to play in is... Uh, Red Bulls, Red Bulls Stadium. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, definitely. So is that a possibility to play on that team? Would you get excited to play for them? Yeah. Uh, I think uh, it's a team that has a lot of history and a couple of Colombian players that I know play there. And it just, you know, New York is a nice city and they really support the soccer side and I'll be. I would love to play there too. Yeah, definitely. Don't get, don't drink too many Red Bulls in New Jersey. <laughs> no, no. I only, I only, the only thing I drink. Is what are some water. of the hurdles you had to endure to crack the starting lineup during your freshman year at Florida National? I'm sure there were some obstacles, but I'm curious what you had to do to earn that spot in the lineup. Yeah, so when I came to FIU, uh, I came kind of, I was in 100%. I uh, came with an injury. So at the beginning, it was difficult just because it was kind of like a new level. And then the other forward, since we played with a nine, he was a senior. He was a junior, sorry. He was a really good player. And, uh, you know, getting to a new team, new environment, it's not easy. But little by little, you keep learning and you keep going as a player. And little by little, I started getting my spot and feeling more comfortable. And I started getting starting position little by little. Excellent, excellent. Well, I, 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 uh, I, 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 I'm a Galaxy fan and grew up with the Galaxy. So <laughs> how, how, how excited would you actually be, be able to come to L.A.? <laughs> Hey, I was actually there. Uh, I trained with the USO team for like a, for mm -hmm. a week in in April, and yeah, it was a nice facility and really nice coaches, and it was a good environment there. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Chris, do you have any other uh, questions? Or I do have one last question. Um, sure. What? Have you met with any of the teammates for Team Nemesis heading into tomorrow's first day of the MLS Combine games? Like, have you networked with them or? Yeah, so a couple of players. I, I went to another Combine before this one when a lot of players went to the Las, Las Vegas Combine. And a lot of the players who were there are here too. And so I met a couple of guys. And actually two of them are we're in my same team, and now we're in the same team, so I kind of connect with them a little bit. And, I mean, it's, it's difficult 
to play with people that you don't know or that you don't know what pass they like or how they do. But, you know, uh, now it's time to to do what we like, to enjoy, and I know we'll be fine. Yeah, I, I'm sure you've got this. Thank you so much for joining us, Santiago. Good luck at the MLS Combine. I know you're going to ace it, man. Thank you, man. Have a good night. All right, you take cool. care. Thank you for having us. Having you. Uh, we're glad we had, came on the show. The Utopia of Sports.